Today is Monday, January 2nd, 2023. The car is fully packed. The movers are there and we are moving to Las Vegas. I feel at peace, excited, exhausted, grateful. And I just know that we are doing what is best for the family, for the future. Good things are coming. And, um, see you in Vegas. <laughs> see you in Vegas. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am Rusty. I have not done a vlog in a while and I'm not well. So this is actually the second time I've tried to make this vlog. I'm not gonna stop again. This will not be, there will not be, ah, no, I'll, I'll just keep going, keep going. Cause I filmed close to 10 minutes and then I just st stopped myself. Cause I, I got stopped. Like I had a brain fart in the middle. Anyways, hello. I am coming at you from Las Vegas where we live now. We are locals here. Me, the kids, my mom, and the last month and a half has been one of the hardest periods of my life for so many reasons. You know, moving is stressful. And moving with young children and an elderly person, next level stressful especially when you have three children, three, and my mom, and me. So many boxes, so much to get ready. Just, it has been the best way to describe my state of being over the last four weeks specifically is like a dog in the middle of the ocean just treading water and desperately trying not to drown. I'm grateful to be here. Things are a little bit better right now than they were when we first got here, but the adjustment period is not over yet. It has been a big adjustment for many reasons and I will get into them, but first, I have missed you and I am so grateful that you're still here, you're watching and some of you even like emailed and, and messaged and, and tweeted and said, hey, I, I miss your family vlogs. Like I said, I've just been trying to survive because, you know, so, so much had to get done, so many adjustments not just moving to Vegas, but also moving to Vegas and saying goodbye to my nannies. Two big adjustments. I prob It probably wasn't the smartest idea to decide to get, you know, part ways with my nannies um, so quickly. I, I should have asked if one of them could have stayed with us for maybe like a month or a month and a half, but I was like, oh, we'll just need two weeks. All will be good. No! Oh, it would have been so helpful to still have one of our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful nannies with us for a little while longer. But um, getting it done, and it's been a huge adjustment, and it's been a huge undertaking, and it's not even done yet. We've still got boxes and things and we're still not fully unpacked and um, <laughs> we're still not fully able to exhale yet. So we're just all, so t at least me, 
probably my mom too. Even my dog, even my dog this morning. Like this move has been so stressful for all of us. Poor Teddy pooped all over my bedroom and my bathroom this morning. And then I left the house and I'll tell you why. I went to the gym, thank God. Today was the first time I've been to the gym in a month. I had not been to the gym in a month. I'm so grateful I finally went to the gym. But right before, and I went real early to the gym, I booked a 6 a.m. group fitness class, and I got there a little bit late because I had a deal with cleaning up Teddy Poop in my bathroom and in my bedroom on the carpet. I go to the gym, I get home, and he had pooped again. And this is not the first time it's happened. Poor Teddy is old. He's, how old is Teddy, 15? No, yeah, 15 and a half. He's a senior dog. And like every day I feel like I'm putting out fires, every day. Like yesterday we got a, a warning from the Department of Water because in Vegas you can only water your, your lawn on certain days. I'm like, okay, fine, but the sprinklers were going off and I didn't set them, I didn't program them. So this morning I had to program, like I'm a tech idiot. I had to look, thank God for YouTube. Thank God for YouTube. I had to look up a YouTube video to find out how to program, because I couldn't find the manual, how to program this really fancy irrigation system here and just doing so many other things, you know, like I haven't even gone to the DMV yet because the appointment, they were all booked for four weeks, but there are other things that I, that I was able to do, like taking both of our cars to get smog checks, went to the post office because we're in this place where you need a, a, a key to access the mailbox down the middle of the street went to the post office, went to the P.O. box, set up our P.O. box. Uh, I've been spending, oh my God, I've been spending so much time with schooling. I have the kids in a school that is a lovely school for now, but I am exploring other options for the fall and I am just crazy. I've literally been going to see, like I've seen already over 10 schools and I have like at least another 10 on my list of schools to visit. I've been going to one to two a day. I've been to all parts of Las Vegas, north, south, east, west, that side, the other side. Um, and, and it's been worth it because my kids are worth it. And you might think I'm crazy or a psycho, but I believe in doing your research. I believe that knowledge, information, background, a feeling, how a school feels, a sense of what it's like, the vibe you're getting from the, the principal and, and the staff and seeing if the kids are happy there and learning. Uh, you know, you can only learn so much from their website and then you don't wanna be checking the Google reviews because those, they, they like all have bad Google reviews, but I've learned so much by going to these schools and everybody's been very welcoming and kind and gracious and I'm figuring it all out on my own. And, you know, I was real spoiled in Los Angeles because my nannies helped so much. My nannies helped taking the kids to school and picking them up. And who's doing that now? Me. And that's almost an hour and a half a day that now I don't have. And the nannies also used to make all of the meals for, the, for my kids. And who's doing that now? Me. But I'm going to explore other options I'm, I'm looking at like meal prep companies, if I can find a partnership. I'm trying to find partnerships with meal prep companies because a lot of those are really expensive and I'm not trying to do that. I'm also not trying to just have them eat chicken nuggets every day or 
the $6.99 entire roast chicken or just like a pizza in the, in the oven. I want them to be healthy and uh, I've been able to do it. I've, I've been really organized. Like I've been meal planning myself for my kids. But if I could have somebody help me do that, like the planning and the cooking, if it's not that expensive or if I can find a partnership, that's the way to go. But I've been doing, you know, I've been doing fine. It's just been a huge adjustment and a struggle. And I've been doing so much laundry. My nannies used to do all of the kids' laundry. And now I have three kids and lots of laundry, my own and theirs. Thankfully, grandma does her own laundry. And um, I know that this is all just temporary. I know that when we fully settle in, when everything is done, checked off the list, when we can finally exhale, I will be so much happier because I love Las Vegas and we moved here to be happier. If you know me, you know this has been a long time coming. I've been wanting to move to Las Vegas since 2018. I almost bought a house in Vegas in 2018. It's taken me five years of trying to just convince not only my mother, but convince myself that I could do this. You know, in 2018, I was the guest host for the summer at Chippendales and had the best time and got to live like a local here and see what life is really like in Las Vegas. It's a real city, you know, people live here. There's so much more to it than just the strip. It's very kid friendly. And the two things I love the most about Las Vegas is number one, there's like little to no traffic. And at most, on average, it'll take you like 20 minutes to get somewhere, max. Maybe 25 minutes, but that's pushing it. But like most places that you, if you live in, in a, by a place, you can get anywhere in like 20 to 25 minutes. Whereas in Los Angeles, it'll take you like 45 or 50 minutes to get anywhere. So just, you know, the, the, you know, like the quality of life, you know, like it takes me about 20 minutes to take the kids to school and that's less than it would take the nannies in Los Angeles. So that's a win. And what I also really love about Las Vegas is the people. Like there is such a sense of community here that Los Angeles doesn't have. You know that saying, Vegas strong, after that awful tragedy? Well, it's true. Vegas has a strong sense of community, and I have so many friends here, and I feel really guilty because my friends have been inviting me out, and I've been saying no because I haven't been, I haven't had the time. I'm, I've, I've been like underwater. I've been drowning, actually, a lot, and then like that, being like the, that dog again. Um, so if any of my friends are watching this, thank you for being so kind and so there for me. And I am excited to slowly get out there and, and back to normal and social again. And it's been hard for the kids, a lot of adjustments, new school, new friends, new house, saying goodbye to our nannies. But thankfully, Kids are very resilient and mine are so brilliant and, and they've really been stepping up to the plate or stepping up to the table, whatever the expression is and contributing. You know, I've asked more of them. I said, you know what kids, I'm gonna be responsible for all of these things, but I'm gonna make you be responsible for certain things too and demand it. So the kids have been making their own beds in the morning. They used to not do that in Los Angeles. They're helping me wash their own dishes after we have breakfast or lunch or dinner. Uh, thankfully, they have plastic, you know, like reusable plastic plates and bowls. Um, you know, they're helping to make sure that their playroom and the bathrooms are tidy. And 
they've really been chipping in and contributing and helping dad because we're a team. Everybody's doing their best. Everybody's gonna be happier here. Las Vegas is amazing. There's so much to do. I love it here. And let's check in with everybody else and see what their thoughts are. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Hurt because you did me this. <laughs> he got a boo-boo when I was trimming his, clipping his nails. It was an accident. I'm doing my best. Um, it was a little boo-boo. It was nothing major. Um, uh, how uh, is Las Vegas treating you? Good. What do you think about living here? That it's fun to live in Las Vegas? You, you don't sound very sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. What else are you thinking or feeling? Nothing else. No? Mm -hmm. Are you sad? Yeah. What's making you sad? Mm -hmm. our, our old house. You liked your old house? Mm -hmm. Well, in life, people move regularly and things change. Every day that we're alive, we're a little bit different. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. You did? Yeah. How did you know that? Because, we are, because the emotions change every day. Well, no, because we're one day older. So we're literally different than yesterday. And because our emotions change. That's true. <laughs> and, and, and every day is different. Um, you know, we are blessed Everybody is healthy and Las Vegas is a beautiful city with beautiful people and beautiful possibilities. I am excited for the future. In, in there, my face kind, kind of looks like a cartoon. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good. Good? Yeah. What do you what do you feel what are you feeling? Good. Good? Happy. You're happy? Why? I like being with my family. Oh. I love being with you. Um, what do you think about living in Las Vegas? It's, where are we where are we going to a place? <laughs> We have not done as much as we normally do in Los Angeles we yet. We never go to a place. Well, you went to a lot of places in December and in no. November. Yes. I want to go in there today, please. <laughs> well, not today, but hopefully soon when we, you know, we'll be more social. Things will get back to normal, but I'm glad that you expressed that. I want that as well for all of us to start, you know, doing more. Even if it's just going to the movies, you know, just being normal. Can you go a movie today? No, I can't today. Please. I cannot. Maybe grandma will take you. Ask her. No, you. No, I cannot. Please. I cannot today. Yeah, I can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I would love nothing more, but I am... We can go to a pool. Mm, I don't know about that today. It's cold. No. Yes, it is cold. No. Yes. No. Yes, it's real cold. No. Yes. Park? No. We go out park. If grandma wants to take you, I need some time today to just work and get caught up yeah. and maybe even get ahead. Like, I can cut my hair. You can what? I can cut my hair. No, never. Not myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know better than that. <laughs> uh, but you're happy. Yeah. You, you you like living in Las Vegas. Yeah. 
okay. Is anything making you sad or anxious or worried or? Mess. No. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Mm. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so, Mia, how are you feeling? Good. That sounds like a question. Are you? Yes. That sounds like a question too. What are you thinking? Nothing. What are your thoughts on living in Las Vegas? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. What do you feel like now that you're here? Excited. <laughs> you're unsure? You're nervous? No. You're just unsure? Maybe. Okay, that's fine. That's totally valid. It's a big adjustment. It's a big change. Mm -hmm. But I, I appreciate how much you've been chipping in and your brothers and your sister too. This morning, Mia volunteered to wash her sister's dirty dishes. Because Maite is not tall enough to reach the sink. So that was very nice of you. Mm. Are you, what do you, what, what, what is, what makes you happy? Me, was <laughs> That's a good answer, <laughs> but it seems like a very pageant answer. <laughs> um, you're happy though? And what else? Any other thoughts or feelings, worries, concerns, comments, observations? Mm -mm. Okay. Grandma, we live in Las Vegas now. Yes. <laughs> You're just like Mia. That was like a question. <laughs> yes? Question mark. No. <laughs> yes, positive. Exclamation mark? Yes! Yes! That was not an exclamation mark. That was an ellipsis. Dot, dot, dot. I'm used to. You're used to what? To live in Vegas. We've spent time here. I know, but it's different. Oh, you're, get time. you're getting used to it, is what you meant. I'm getting used to it. It's an adjustment. Yes. But what are your thoughts overall? Um, my dog and I have to get used to live in Vegas. You've already been to the casino. Oh, yes, many times. Many times. Yes, oh, yes, many times. So that makes you happy. Yes. You've already been to a Cuban restaurant many times. Yes, I like it too. So that makes you happy. Yes. My daughter came to visit me. Yes. With my granddaughter. My sister surprised us and came and visited us. That was very nice. Yes. We just got to manifest you making friends here or a boyfriend. Ah, oh, no. Yes. I don't go out so much, so. You can meet somebody at the casino. In the casino, people, they don't talk to you. They don't? They, they only play and play and play. Well, you, you, could, I, you could meet somebody at the Cuban restaurant. Maybe. If not, I'm happy anyway with my family. Well, I'm still not very well, but I little am... Little by little. Little by little. I know it's all temporary, and I'm very grateful that you're here with us in Vegas. Thank you. I know at the beginning, everything is hard, but in the meantime, it's going to be different. You will yes. see. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here with us. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I could not have moved without you. I mean, I could have, but I didn't want to. But you wanted to be here. You wanted to come to Vegas. I love Vegas. Okay. So I'm grateful that you wanted to be with us and be here. And Yes. Vegas is awesome. There's so much to do, little traffic. At least. At a least lot of Cubans here. Doesn't snow. 
Yeah. Ooh. A lot of Cubans in Vegas. Yes, I know. I'm Cuban too. Yeah, everybody knows. <laughs> All right. Have fun. So, yeah, lots of adjustments. But my kids are amazing. I was really worried about them and the, the school situation because very different schooling here, much more traditional, which I like. Um, there have been struggles, you know, but we'll get through it all. We're together, we're healthy, and we've got you. And I don't know, I hope to resume, I will resume posting on this channel. I don't know how often or when or whatever, but this is a big life update that I was excited to share with you all. And, uh, wow. So thank you everybody. Thank you to anybody that may have super chatted me. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated or super thanks. You can always thank your, your favorite creators if you want to that way, or just go to PerezHilton.com. That is free and click on some ads, okay? You can listen to my podcast at PerezPodcast.com. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. Turn the notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos. Share this video. Hit that like button down below. And in the comments section, not in the chat box if you're watching the live premiere, in the, the, the chat, in the comments section, say, all good, all good. It's all good and it's all gonna be good. So all good. Say that in the comments section down below. And uh, yeah, I love you. We're in Vegas! Whew.